I know that when we did the anatomy of a attack back a few months back, Steve, one of the things that we talked about is that the attacks are becoming more sophisticated. So it's not just the data being encrypted and getting the keys to unlock it. They're now, if they're taking the data, there's almost like an extortion that if you don't get paid the ransom, we'll not put that that uh, information on the web, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, and that's where you're seeing, you know, when the when the bad actors are staging attacks, right? The the first piece of that attack is they're lurking in the background and they're exfiltrating data, right? Yeah. Because now they're you know they're getting more savvy and they know that potentially you right. may either block the ransom or you've got some backups and you can recover from it. But if they've got some critical information and 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 have something on you, then it it just gives them another another avenue to try to you know grab some cash out of your pocket. Yeah. So as we said at the beginning, right? So it's not a matter of if you're going to get hacked, if you've done all the right things, you're not going to, you know, prevention. Even if I do all the right things, and we've explored several in these conversations, you know, uh, companies that did all the right things but still got compromised. You know, yep. we, we see the federal government spending billions of dollars in, in trying to protect their environments, and there's still compromises that happen, right? So so that that is that's a big part of it. So I think what we need to look at as we go through the rest of our conversation is how do we change that narrative a little bit? What's really what should we really be focusing on 